Joining us now to discuss, the man himself, Matt Mamone. Thank you so much for being with us today, Matt. It's great to have you. Thanks for having me. Really great to be here. I appreciate it. Absolutely. So, Matt, I'd love for you to tell us more about your story in your own words. I know you dedicated so much of your life to this department and you loved your job. You even worked through the pandemic. Tell us more about what that was like. Yeah, I was uh, I was with the L.A. City Fire Department for about 13 and a half years prior to being placed on suspension without pay for not complying with the city's COVID-19 mandate. Uh, I did work for almost two years during the pandemic without restriction. While most of the world was asked to stay home, the fire service continued working without uh, interruption to service to the citizens. Um, and that included several extra shifts a month to cover staffing shortages. I deeply loved my job and the opportunity to provide help to the citizen of, citizens of Los Angeles. And um, unfortunately I was terminated last week in May of 2023. I mean, this is just unbelievable. Someone who's so dedicated and willing to step up in a time of need is terminated over a vaccination status. When did this become a problem with your department? The city mandate came out around September of 2021. Um, and then myself and about 100 others were suspended in December of 2021 without pay. During the few months in between there and up until now, our union has not signed off on the mandate as a condition of employment hasn't been bargained in to our contract. Um, so aside from all the other um, issues with the vaccine and the mandate, my employer fired me for not meeting a condition of employment that doesn't even exist in my contract. That is absolutely just incredible. Now, I know you've been involved in a very long legal battle. Can you tell us more about the proceedings here? I mean, is it possible you didn't have a fair trial? And how much did defending your rights end up costing you? Sure. Yeah, I went through a process called a Board of Rights, and that's the disciplinary process for police and fire in the city of Los Angeles. Um, as a firefighter in the city of L.A., I'm supposed to have multiple layers of labor code protections, protecting uh, my due process and uh, myself from getting unlawfully terminated. Unfortunately, though my counsel fought tremendously hard on my be <clears throat> behalf, uh, we don't feel we were allowed to present all the facts in my case, and I was not given the appropriate due process afforded to me by state and city law. Um, as far as cost, it's ongoing. I've been fortunate to have counsel that's been flexible in working with me because uh, they believe in my cause, but no doubt when it's all said and done, it won't be cheap. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm just so sorry that you're having to go through this. It's just criminal that they would do this to you. And I can't believe that someone who's willing to you know, be there for the people, especially in a time of need, would be treated as such. It's just awful. And you know, I get the feeling that you're possibly being targeted for knowing your rights and exercising them to the fullest extent, which is why they probably wouldn't want to reinstate you back into the department. Do you think that that might be an underlying factor here? I would say that's likely a true statement. Um, cities all over the world, including New York and Chicago, are putting their firefighters and police and even L.A. County, putting people back to work. And uh, here we are still terminating people in the city of L.A., um, I think they'd rather terminate a good employee than admit they may have made a mistake. Yeah, it sure seems that way. And what's the the current uh, pulse up in L.A.? What's it like there? Do you think um, that, you know, there's more issues being presented, seeing as there are less people with jobs who are willing to work and they're clearly hiring more people who are perhaps less qualified for the jobs now? It, it's it my, you know, firefighter was always a, tremendously competitive job to get into. And, and my understanding is, is that we're having a tough time hiring people. So um, yeah, I would say it's it's probably having an effect on, on staffing levels and on hiring. That's just so sad. How do your coworkers feel about all of this? Have you uh, received any support from people who perhaps did get the vaccine, but still support what you're doing here? hundred percent. I've never been, um, you know, nobody's ever said to me they felt uncomfortable with my status in the workplace. I worked with many of them for over a year since when after the vaccine came out. Um, they, you know, a lot of them, many of them feel the way I do, but just didn't feel they were able to take on the fight and give up their livelihood. And that's understandable. It's a, it's a hard thing. Uh, most of them are actually working have been able to work unrestricted throughout this because they have either a religious or a medical medical exemption. And, and, uh, but it just, it never made sense to me why that piece of paper means that you're not a threat to health and safety, but without one, you are.
For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.